Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey here, and I'm still recovering from a bit of a cold. Uh, but look at the bright side, at least we have this wonderful Dragalia music that I really hope doesn't get taken down, get me taken down, because I'm using it in a video. Because Dragalia likes to do that. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the Fractured Futures. Um, this is the new event that's out here. I won't spoil any of the story stuff, but it does have to do with time travel, and it has to deal with this boy right here, Ordric. Uh, we will not be using him. I just figured I may as well show uh, just a little bit of the gameplay of it. So let me quickly just set this too. I know, of course, because I'm so powerful, I can just auto this no problem. Um, but yeah, this is the first time. So you should obviously do this event. Completing a raid gets you even the lowest quality raid. So if even if you're not the strongest one out there, even um, beating it on the uh, lowest difficulty will give you a ticket for a multi which you can save for a future banner un unless you're still going for the prince and you want to you know spend it there otherwise you don't know, go for it um and the other thing it gives you is that at the end of the event it gives you a ticket that will let you exchange for one weapon of a full element and before I get into that, let me also say this. This is something new in the game. It's raid boost. It's raid boosts. So this actually makes it so that raids are easier. Um, obviously, with this one came a brand new difficulty that actually takes advantage of the of, of these raid boosts. But also for people who are a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit more casual with the game or just starting out, these raid boosts will help you be able to beat like events that you probably couldn't have if it was not for the fact that it was you were being boosted at the moment. So it's obviously worth doing. And let me go into Kronos. Uh, Kronos should be no problem because, again, I'm at a pretty de pretty decent level and I have a pretty good team. Oh, all right. So the other thing I was going to say. So, yeah, you get to pick a free um, tier three elemental weapon. And, oh, man, he's starting with how this guy is. Dude, he was just like, oh, let's go. Come on. I don't have time to get you ready, Wokey. It's just not possible. So anyway, let's go in here and I'll show the fight. I'm not sure how long he'll last, if I'm being 100% honest, but let's see. Alright, here it is on Expert. Oh my god, he's so... Kronos is so cool looking. I love bosses that are just basically kaiju. It's um, it's what half of the reason why I like God of War. The other reason is the Greek mythology. Alright, let's go. Uh, so let's go in here. We go here. We should actually target his arms, as this guy is doing over here. This guy. So, you have to. You. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the current method is for Kronos, just because I haven't done much research into it, because I've just been so sick and everything. But usually, what you want to do is that you want to get rid of his tiny parts, because usually destroying it makes it so the fight's easier overall. So, like, he'll do less of other moves less frequently. Or he'll just be in general. It also gives like rewards and stuff, so it's actually good to try and destroy his. Um, uh, I was gonna say a crucial mom, but that's not what it says. It's basically his tiny little hands. You want to destroy anything in any raid boss where it's like, oh, target the tail or target something else. It's actually very good to do that. So there you go. Oh, I cannot talk much because you know this cold man. I hope this doesn't sound bad for anyone listening. By the way, if you do though, you know what. I had a video planned, which is an astral raid, which is very unfortunate because I don't think I'll be uploading it because it's just too late, and I get my ass kicked pretty hard. Okay, so let's go into EX now. Ooh, this is different. You complete either Chrono Clash Expert or Chrono Clash Chronos Nyx Clash Nightmare will sometimes yield the otherworldly gems required to challenge this quest. Clear. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. Trash Alliance member, co-founder, one of the uh, it, Trash Alliance was made by three people. One is me as their leader. Two is Lerp, um, who is my co, um, who is my co-leader in the Trash Alliance. If you're inside the Trash Alliance, and the third member is uh, Nabashin or Jom, depending on his name in the game is Jom. But let me go in here real quick. Um, and us three decided to make the Trash Alliance because I told them, hey, we should make a Trash Alliance, and they said yes and lerp is extremely good at the game he's the one who teaches me basically everything i need to know about the game he was the one that told me that field buffs actually stack because i didn't know because then asked me and it was like all right oh am i actually in control okay i mean that guy was bringing a non-dark unit but also 
I don't want to fight it right now. I'm sure we'll do fine. So I'm just kind of interested to see how this EX fight goes. Lerp said that this fight's really interesting. And the last interesting fight that Dragalia had, we fought a cube. Oh, is it a cube? What the fuck? That is weird. He's not a big ass dragon. He's a tiny dragon, man. But the field is still huge. Okay, so tail. That means we should aim for the tail. Let me quickly turn dragon. Uh -huh. Also, turning dragon. Um, obviously, there's a smart way of turning dragon, but uh, taking uh, turning dragon can definitely help you. Like if you're about to take a lot of damage, so you can, you know waste the dragon if you don't have a skill ready or if it's a purple and you know you're gonna die wow this guy is completely just beating the shit out of us and by us i mean my healer veronica can you do something can you not die on me and like i said here we go let's see come on i just need you to baby i just need you to survive thank god she was able to get that heal in time oh this is bad can we destroy the tail no we can't i was hoping to destroy the tail in time Nah, damn it. He got... He fucking walked away. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, now we got him. And by we, I mean... What the hell is going on here? Are we fighting in time itself? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I demolished him, at least. Did anyone survive? Okay, thank god everyone survived. What the fuck? That's cool. That's cool. And you're dead. Poor player 3 who just got completely decimated that fight. It's okay, buddy. You know, not everyone can have the top. The player 3, by the way, was the guy who brought him in his win team. So he knew what he was about to go for. Um, but I accepted him because, you know, he might be new. And there goes some more powerful rewards. That's really awesome, actually. Okay. First time clear, quantum cog. Usually, in my experience, EXs are not that different from... Ooh. I would have been actually able to... That's interesting. So, before then... Oh, I'm not even going to try Nightmare. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm, I'm not ready for Nightmare. Because I don't have... I could barely beat um some Master one. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try and grind up all these raid boosts. And then I'll see if at the end of it I'm able to be ready for it. But I'm glad that now EX raids actually have an item currency. That's something new to the game that's different from um, previous times. Uh, that's actually uh, very cool. Because it used to be that if you got one, it was actually very stupid. Because you would grind, you'd grind raid battles a whole bunch. And the second that the leader got the EX battle, he would quit. It's like, great, thanks. Alright, let me end this by doing some i was gonna say multis but that's not what i'm about to do i wanted to show that okay so here's the five weapon exchange shop you can only do this once and as you saw you could beat it go at it from beating ex so i know what i'm getting i'm getting uh actually i should double check to make sure if i actually know what i'm getting i'm i want to get the weapon for um uh what's his nuts uh, I can't pronounce his name because it starts with an I. Dark Dragon. Bleed bleed Prince. The Bleed Prince. So, Who you should choose for this weapon I think is a thing I should talk about. You know, I'll, I'll probably try and get to it in a video later. But here's the basic rule of thumb. If it's a Gala unit, you should obviously go prior to, prioritize their weapon first. Next, uh, you need to get a weapon for a unit that is going to be your unit that you're going to use in high difficulty events such as let me show it real quick it's right here uh such as the advanced dragon trials so if it's someone that you can use in um midgersom mercury brunhilde jupiter or zodiac anyone that you plan to use for that you should also prioritize their weapon and finally the last one and i'll say this is a personal thing this last specific thing of whether or not you should give a person a weapon is up to you to place it wherever you think is appropriate if you just love the unit give them a five like i'm all for 
um, the idea of like if you love a unit so much, you're just like, no, I need to support them, make them the strongest ever. Do it. If you want to play that way, I'm not going to stop you. I think it's a really fun uh, way to play. And if that's the way you want to play, I said play that way. So it's up to you, really. But if you want, if you're starting out, I say if you have a galley unit, use it on a galley unit. And with that, I'm going to say that's goodbye, everyone. And thank you for joining me. Uh, if you like this video of me just playing some Fractured Future, I'm going to be playing a little bit more Fractured Future with like Zen and stuff. So, And I'm going to be getting into a little bit more Dragalia stuff as well. And hopefully I'll have this freaking cold fix. Why did I say freaking instead of fucking? Anyway, thank you everyone. Leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to me before because that helps me a whole bunch. And leave a comment about if you're playing Dragalia, how you like in this event, who do you think Audric actually is, and all that good stuff. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you later. Let me just take you out with the beautiful sounds of this Dragalia anniversary song. Please don't take down my channel. Please. Goodbye.